We're here at GET 2016 in Kuwait. It's the second Global Forum on Emergency Telecommunications and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mr. Christian Kell, who is Vice President of Marketing Communications for Thraya. Christian, thank you very much for being with us in the studio today. Well, thank you for your time. Pleasure uh, to talk to you. Now, I know that there's been a long-standing and fruitful relationship between ICU and Thraya. Perhaps we could talk a little bit about that to begin with. That's a great place to start. Thank you. Yes, it's 10 years, in fact. We've been involved, Thraya Telecommunications, uh, with the ITU since 2006, so it's a decade in which we've stood shoulder to shoulder with them. Uh, part there from the start, uh, we've been involved in sadly a number of incidents, but the incidents where we have been needed, we've been there uh, working together with them across those 10 years. Uh, recent, relatively recent examples would include the Philippines and also uh, Nepal, of course, last year. Uh, but wherever we're needed, uh, we work shoulder to shoulder with, with the ITU. We've got a long-term commitment and uh, sadly there will be times in the future where we will need to work together again and we will do so as efficiently and as effectively as we can. What practical measures do you think can be put in place to strengthen the response to natural disasters? I think there are all sorts of things we can do. At Thuraya, our very mission is to save and improve lives. That's what we're here to do, which is humbling and it's also a privilege to do so. But it's a great responsibility because if you are able to do that, you need to do it as effectively as you can. So there are many things to do together in partnership with the other people gathered here and indeed with the ITU to demonstrate long-term commitment and above all readiness for something when it happens. We may not know where that is, we may not know when it is, but sadly we do know that there is no if disasters strike. So a number of things that we do include the following. Access to equipment is vital. People need our broadband terminals and our handsets in the right place, at the right time and in the right hands. So we also need to make sure that the people who we get our equipment to know how to use it. So search and rescue teams, police departments, first responders, we need to make it easy for them to use our equipment. Training is essential. Once people are trained, we also need to make sure that the equipment itself is ready to go. Pre-deployment is absolutely key because time saves lives. Pre-deployment is absolutely fundamental, which is why if anyone hasn't yet ratified the Tampere Convention, we do ask them uh, wholeheartedly to do so and support it. Overriding security concerns for the sake of humanity and those most in need is fundamental to being able to deliver what we can do more effectively. So training is key. The equipment needs to be out there ready with cables, with antenna, with solar panels, so everything needs to be together. It should be uh, within reach of, of UN offices or first responder offices where they need them, rather than back at base. That's no good at all. So crisis communications equipment, uh, our products, our services, need to be built into disaster management plans. So in summary, it's readiness, it's pre-deployment. And as we're in the, in the land of the falcon, if I can send out a falcon cry, it's for that. Pre-deployment, I'll say it again, and readiness with equipment. What about advances in technology? How are they helping to be able to make this uh, a reality? I think technology does help because advances make uh, the solutions we offer, the equipment that we can provide, even easier to use, more robust, more able to stand up to the conditions, search and rescue teams out looking for aeroplanes in Indonesia and on the high seas looking for the AirAsia aeroplane, put that equipment through extraordinary conditions and it survived. It needs to be able to do that. Push to talk is an extremely straightforward way of, 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 of communicating with people. So technology that puts that in people's hands and makes it really easy to use, simple to understand, absolutely fundamental to future success. So advances, if they make the technology um, easier to use and more convenient, are, are all to be applauded. And much more affordable now than ever? I think we also need, yes, to reassure people that the equipment we are able to offer is affordable. Uh, anyone who has uh, suspicions that satellite equipment may be expensive, please let me reassure them that's not the case and we're always happy to reassure people more directly face to face uh, and to ensure that people are only charged for equipment that they're actually using at the time. So it's, it's affordable and it's flexible because it's needed where it's needed. Finally, how can events such as GET 2016 help stakeholders join forces for a better tomorrow? 
Thuraya is in, in this for the long term. Uh, that's why we signed up for the Crisis Connectivity Charter in Geneva at the end of last year. It's why we continue to enjoy working with the ITU and with many people that we have seen today, listened to on stage. I've been privileged enough to speak on stage as well myself and look forward to doing so again in the conference. Um, but it's, it goes beyond the actual official sessions as well. An event like this brings like-minded people together who can network with one another, share ideas, um, get messages across and actually listen to one another. We're in the communications business so we should be listening to each other and then building the plans that we need to make 2016, 2017 and on even more effectively and efficient years of help where our fellow human beings need that help most. That's what events like this are here to champion and here to raise the standards. We're, we're pleased to be a part of that along with everybody else here uh, at this conference. Christian Gell, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. Thank you.